everyone welcome back to my channel i hope that everyone is having an amazing day so i said that i would put together this video for you guys when i was in a really good routine and when i was starting to see a little bit of results so i wouldn't say i'm exactly where i want to be just being fully honest with you guys fully transparent but i am definitely on the road really healthy changes for myself and actually physically seeing changes because that's always fun. It's great when you're feeling great and you're sticking to something, but then when you actually start to see results, you're like... So what you guys saw this morning, by the way, how cute is Wyatt sleeping there? He's like a little angel, but he's not. If only you saw him earlier with my shoe. Anyway, what you guys saw this morning has been my morning routine. Wake up, have coffee, work out. Sometimes it's at the gym, sometimes it's at Pilates, and a lot of times it's at my house. So one thing I'm really happy about with this entire video is that there's only four things that I really switched up to start losing more fat. For me, it's never about losing weight just because I just, I don't know. I don't even have batteries in my scale right now. I just, it's never really about weight. It doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is losing fat and seeing a little bit of ab definition. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm never going to be that person that has like this tight six pack and I've been that person before and it's just, that for me, I'm not speaking for everybody, but for that for me is not something that I can maintain. It's not sustainable and I do like to indulge in delicious things every now and then. So for me, that's out. But I like to see definition, especially in my arms, legs, stomach. I'm, I am that person. I like that. I enjoy working out and I enjoy eating healthy. Sometimes I just have bigger portions than I should. I make coconut sugar cookies, I'm eating all of them. So that's sort of my issue is portion control. But anyway, I have been really good. A lot of you guys that follow me on Instagram have already noticed a difference and will reply to some of my outfit of the days like, oh my gosh, girl, you're looking so lean, you're looking different, you're looking great. Share your tips. So thank you for anybody that has said that. Thank you, I'm really trying. <laughs> The first thing is a lot and a lot of self-discipline. When I first decided, okay, I wanna look my best for the wedding, I had just gotten my dress, it is a strapless dress, so for anybody that wants a little teaser, it is strapless, I wanted to work on my shoulders, my arms, I actually changed my workout style, we'll talk about that, my workout tip, but I was just like, you know what, I wanna do this. And then about a week later, we all went to the Cheesecake Factory and I ate like a big loaf of bread myself. That brown bread is so good though. That was on the weekend, then on Monday, it was really hard for me to get back to eating healthy again. That was my first go at it. And what I realized is the dress wasn't enough for me to stay disciplined. I had to have a much stronger why. It really is all a mental game. Oh man, it's hard. But if you can just have that self-discipline and it really comes from having that strong why. So why exactly do you want to lose fat or why do you want to lose weight or why do you want to do this and why is it different this time around than it was maybe last time around I realized how many reasons I had to lose some fat and to just change the way I was eating the first reason is if I have too much sugar or if I have too much bread and butter at the cheesecake factory then guess what I'm gonna be bloated and I hate the feeling of being bloated my stomach makes noises all night I like literally guys this is like embarrassing but me and Jared will like fart all night. We both are like, oh my gosh, like, is it me at this point or is it you? And I'm just not my best me when I'm eating a lot of sugar and I'm not eating healthy foods. And yeah, so that was the big thing for me when I started writing down all the real reasons I wanted to lose fat, got out of my head about the physical reasons, but the emotional, your inner work, working on your gut or whatever it is, once you start writing down those reasons, you start to have a completely different perspective. So that was huge for me. Okay, so my second tip is I switched up my diet just a little bit. So I am going to be doing a week of meals. That way you guys can actually see the meals and this and that, but today's video is just a sit down video, just something super simple for you guys. And that is I add fat in pretty much every meal. Yeah, every meal I have fat. So I'll have fruit and nuts for a snack. There's some fat when I'm making a 
protein smoothie, I always use almond butter. Another snack I've been sharing with you guys is apples and peanut butter or apples in almond butter. That has been another favorite snack of mine. The other night we had salmon rice bowls from Pretty Earthy, which is my ebook, and I did lots of avocado. I realized what works for me and that is fat. I always have to be someone that incorporates a good amount of fat in their diet just because that holds me over to the next meal and kind of stops me from snacking so much. I think we all have to listen to our body and see what works. I know some people don't want to eat a lot of fat or have issues with that. For me, I thrive off fat. The more fat that I'm eating in my diet, the better, the leaner I could be, the more fat I'll lose, which is kind of funny, like more fat helping me lose fat. It just doesn't raise my insulin levels, so I'm not storing more fat when I'm eating fat. Wow. How many times did I say fat? Brings me to my third tip, which is curbing sweet tooth cravings. If you are a sugar person like me, I think you're gonna really like this tip. A lot of you have saw on Instagram that, cause I share a lot on Insta stories. So if you're not following me there, you should. Cause it's kind of like behind the scenes of YouTube videos. But anyway, I started having more tea lately. I'm not really like a tea person. I'm just gonna be honest. Like I'm like, okay, it's good, but it's not that sweet and it's not that fun. And a lot of people love tea. I'm trying to get into it, but I will say this. Tea at night is what I replace my late night snacking with just because it is warm, it's cozy, and it does curb my sweet tooth cravings. And then the other thing that I've been doing, which if you follow my Instagram behind the scenes, then you already know because I've been drinking it like all summer. I'm telling you guys, I eventually will have a code. I finally do. Four Sigmatic is actually sponsoring today's video and they did give me a code for their stuff. So I actually drink this almost every single night, but sometimes I do have it in the afternoon. I love that I've turned so many of you guys onto this mushroom hot chocolate on Instagram. A lot of you guys are like, wow, Sam, this is like the best thing ever. Just because if you do want something hot at night or you want something after dinner and you are craving chocolate, this is such a good healthy alternative that actually is loaded with a ton of health benefits. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna chit chat about it. all of the health benefits and how it can be something that no matter what diet you're following or no matter what you're doing add this into your routine it's delicious it's paleo it's vegan so the first thing I do is I boil some water so we got that on I already put some water in here and I hit boil and start so if you don't have this just boil some water or boil milk if you want it to be a little bit creamier do all milk, but what I do is a mix between water and milk. The water's actually already boiled. It's so cool how fast that is. But then I go in with unsweetened almond milk, and this is by the brand Malk. For some reason, this is the only one that will froth in my frother. So you don't, again, if you don't have all these little gadgets that I have, it's totally fine. You could just heat up your almond milk however you would do that. And so that's frothing. The only thing I use to sweeten the hot cacao is honey. If you like things super, super sweet, you can go in with like a tablespoon of coconut sugar, regular sugar, or more honey, but I just use honey. So I do half water. I add in my cacao mix. I take a little hand blender like this. Again, you can get on Amazon. Four Sigmatic even has these on their website. Raw honey has so many health benefits. Oh my God, that's delicious. I just took a sip without even pouring in my milk. And it's so good. So see how good that froths? Not all almond milks do. For some reason, just that one does. So I get milk in it first. I'm gonna add the froth on top. Do this, you can stop there. You can add some marshmallows on top. Or for those of you that wanna live on the edge and have something really delicious, follow my next step. This is organic whipped cream. They use real cane sugar, so none of the fake stuff. No carbs, no sugars, so it's great. This is like the thing at night that I look forward to so much. I'm like, oh my God, give it to me. I mean, it doesn't get more like hot chocolate than this. This drink has been helping me so much after dinner. If you are having sweet tooth cravings, if you are just craving hot chocolate because tis the season, you will love this. What I like about Four Sigmatic is they use a lot of different mushrooms. So if there's something specific that you're looking for, like a mushroom for focus, or you're looking for something to help you with anxiety or it'll be a product for you, they make mushroom coffee, they make mushroom matcha, golden lattes, 
all different things but my personal favorite is the hot chocolate that's the one that i've turned all my friends on to this one contains the mushroom reishi 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 i'm not sure how to pronounce it but i'll put it on the screen and i looked up a lot of different health benefits for that one and it's so funny because I've experienced them and I could speak firsthand that it really does what it says and Rishi actually helps you with anxiety so at night sometimes I could feel anxious about the next day and all that I have to do especially getting married next month so many things goes behind the scenes of planning a wedding that I never knew before so I've been feeling anxious about that and just sometimes if I know I have a lot to do I can get anxious at night this 1000% calms me down it makes me feel good another thing that this has in it is antioxidants if you are a skincare junkie like me then you definitely want to fuel up on antioxidants because they are going to help you age slower and vice versa the less antioxidants in your body the faster you might age uh, so any skincare people that's definitely something you want to keep in mind and then the last thing that I really like this is it boosts your immune system I am that person I think everybody's like this but I hate getting sick and this is the season that I usually do get sick, so I really take care of myself um, and really do things that are going to boost my immune system. So I feel like it's a win-win and it's just delicious and it's been helping me so much on my diet and just staying clean because I always have this to look forward to. It sells out really fast on their website, so I have good news for that. If you do wanna get this, Four Sigmatic is actually having a huge Black Friday sale and it starts on the 29th, which is Friday. However, they are going to start the Black Friday sale tonight, the 27th, which is actually my birthday. So I'm pre-filming this now, but when you guys see this video, it'll be the 27th, my birthday, and they're gonna let my subscribers shop the sale before the sale actually starts. And I do have an additional code so you guys can save even more money. Hell yeah, I might even use my own code. Is that weird? I don't know. And my fourth tip for losing fat for the wedding is I completely switched up my workout routine. So as you guys saw this morning, I did lift weights, and that's kind of huge for me because up until like recently I didn't even have a gym membership so a lot of you guys know I used to just always say I quit my gym membership and all I do is cardio and resistance bands and this and that I feel like different things work at different stages in your life and at one point that was really working for me but then I think my body got used to that and I had to completely switch it up so what I did was I joined a gym and I started lifting weights and I started using gym machines and just completely doing different things. And what I realized was that I feel a lot better when I leave the gym. Last year I did personal training and it was like a lot of cardio that would have us jumping on things and jumping on these little trampolines and jumping jacks and this and that. After that, those workouts, I would come home and want to go to sleep. I wouldn't feel that like workout rejuvenation and feel really good. Instead, I would just be really hungry and eat all day and I would just get really sore. It was way too hard on my body. Once I started lifting weights, I started seeing results so much faster. So that's not to say that I never do cardio. I do cardio twice a week, but before I used to do majority cardio and like little to no weight. So I completely reversed what I was doing. Shoulders is actually my favorite thing to work, especially for the wedding because I'm wearing a strapless dress and I feel like I'm getting defined shoulders and like legs and everything and I always share different gym clips and stuff like that on my insta story so definitely follow my instagram and I have a lot of them saved in instagram highlight because we're not a lot of film at our gym unfortunately so that's why I take like sneaky iPhone clips but anyway thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to check out Four Sigmatic I'll have everything in my description box and yeah so have a great day and I'll see you guys soon